small cities face the same scourge of gun violence as larger cities. In a way, none of this is surprising, considering that the force of gun violence and other atrocities helped build these United States. Murder has been used both blatantly and secretly throughout this nation's history by governments, politicians, big businesses, and organized crime entities as a leverage tool to advance their missions. Now at the street level, the same violent tactics used by the aforementioned groups to steal resources and wealth from lesser organized structures have been turned inward and employed as an option by average citizens to fill in the gaps, make ends meet, fund endeavors, and indulge compulsions. The easy accessibility of firearms coupled with so many deficits in our United States makes for a climate fertile for gun violence. The question here is, are we exercising real commitment to save ourselves? Complaining doesn't count. Yeah, I got that, alright? Later. Yo, hold up, man. wonderful statement when she talked about um, talked about the internalized violence and the way that we've internalized oppression. She said that we should, instead of turning it inward, we should really understand who the oppressor is and instead of killing ourselves, we should be looking about overcoming our oppression. Um, I think that is true because um, the violence that we visit on each other in the African community is, is comes from a larger um, sense of oppression or alienation. So we internalize it because the closest people to us are the people who are going to be the victims of, of aggression. So violence becomes an issue, a major issue for us because we kill each other. Gun violence often happens as a result of unsupported positive endeavors. Much of it is turned inward not because of the oppression from the government, big businesses or other institutions. Rather as a result of the direct domestic oppression received in the home and between the citizens in the community. These interactions corrupt the spirit, damage social development, foster hopelessness, desperation, withhold wisdom from those that need it, and often lead to violent crimes. We can't blame slavery for not teaching our children and young people how to properly socialize, or for our own lack of support for young persons with positive goals. Yeah, the question is, what do you think about gun violence in Philadelphia, the, the amount of it? the rate that is happening. I think it's, it's atrocious. Uh, only because it starts with education. It starts at home first. Education at home. The parents have to teach their, their children to respect one another and to respect life. That's not being taught. And a lot of people be like, well, you live in the hood, so you're supposed to be like this, that, and the third. So you're supposed to carry a gun, smoke weed, and and wear your pants down to your kneecaps because it's just the right thing. But I'm not even like that. I, I go to school and come to work and just chill. Just because that's what the people in my neighborhood do don't mean 
I have to do that or I have to be like that. Why do you think they do it? A lot of people is like they they seen it from their they dads and their moms do it from when they from when they was growing, when the child was growing up. All they saw, all they ever saw their dad do was sit around the house and smoke weed and sleep. So they figure, well, that's that's all I know. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop out of high school, tenth, eleventh grade, sit around the house, smoke weed and sleep. Black folk in Philadelphia, basically, in regards to whether we are uh, failing our children, I think that we are uh, on a number of fronts. Uh, one of them being just about our lack of consistency. Uh, that we as adults don't always do the things that model really good behavior. Whether we're talking about, you know, picking up trash in the street, uh, or even just our conversations with other adults and in the presence of our children that tend to sometimes uh, border on disrespect. Surely our young people sometimes behave in ways that are not flattering or respectful to our families. But the fact is they are usually a chip off the old block. They are probably acting in some way like a family member or family associate. Therefore, isn't it reasonable to suggest that adult leadership should be brought into question at least as often as the young people that are being indicted? This is why. Young people live within the context of what is being provided them by adults. If the youth are exhibiting deficit behaviors and the environments that you've established aren't the sources, then how do the environments that you provide help counteract those behaviors? You should know because all of this will influence your deposit as well as the choices that young people make. Want a tree to be healthy? Tend to the roots. See, I think when we talk about ending gun violence and, and who's responsible, I think the responsibility starts at home with parents taking their job seriously and putting purpose into children, putting a sense of values in the children, exposing them to opportunities, as many opportunities as they can that they may choose something positive. The company that your child keeps, the people that you have them around, definitely has an influence on your child. Brothers that I was roping with, and on a certain setting, you understand, without me really being involved in what they were doing, but just being there, I took four bullets through the stomach. One of them lies in my spine and wind up taking uh, half my stomach out, just laying one third of my liver. And I wind up in the hospital uh, 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 six months. And it then wind up a year and a half out of three years in the hospital. And all that, these are the big bullets. It's the little ones that tore me up, man. That caused my stuff to be um, all like ripped, 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 ripped up. Excuse me. Wow. All that, all this ripped up in, in my back. That's from the middle uh, down to the lower part of my spine. Caught up in the streets, and that just ultimately led me to greater things. 
the company that your child keeps, the people that you have them around, 